Hello everyone, uh, my name is Saburo Takashima, I'm the Chief Instructor of Aikido Sengekai in Tokyo. In the last video, I showed you the concept of Taisabaki. Uh, if you translate that in English, it's uh, move your body so that your opponent lose balance and you place yourself where you can control or either take, it, take down your opponents. Okay? And uh, I have some more uh, ideas which I want to show you, uh, but not this time. Uh, in this uh, uh, video, I'd like to continue uh, Ikajo, uh, first control techniques, which we did uh, from Shomen Strike in the previous one. So today is Katate Mochi, Hiji Mochi, uh, Kata Mochi, and Yokome Uchi Ikajo. The concept that are uh, uh, related to all this uh, uh, wrist grab, elbow grab, shoulder grab, and side strike. Ikajo is the foot movements. Uh, usually, uh, the technique would be executed as such. Let's start from the Komenuchi Ikajo Saichi. First part, we have play. Seki, raise arms together, okay. Uh, 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 shuffle in and uh, apply uh, side strike to, to, to Yoke's temple and like, 45 degrees. Uh, pivot and Atemi and block. Cross your hands, rotate your, uh, both wrists towards Luke's face, and turn your head, and take that. Okay? Kata okay. mochi. Off of the long hand, you can uh, grab in a pulling uh, uh, power. So raise your uh, wrist towards your uh, temple, and make a 45 degrees pivot. Open your arms, and face punch. Eye projection towards Luke's face. The rest of the movement is pretty, pretty much the same. Up, and back. Shoulder, up and leg. Yoko up and leg. So all the same. Okay? Um, today, I would like to suggest you to uh, use a different foot motion so that you can literally feel how to lead Uke into a position where he stuck and cannot do anything. Meaning, you totally break his balance. Enable you to execute the uh, uh, raising arm and cutting down motion much easier by doing that. Okay, again, this is not a basics, but I uh, sometimes uh, have my students practice this way so that they understand more. So start with the gyaku hanbi, uh, left versus right. Okay, and the movement will be you basically move the side as a knee motion. Okay, but because of this is itchy, after this one, I shift my back leg towards. Uh, right in front of Yuke's uh, foot. By applying this motion, it helps you to learn how to break Yuke's balance much more effectively. Okay? For example, Yokome Uchi. Up and bam. This is much easier. Okay? And then, together with this, with this, with this one, bam, cross that in and place it in front of Yuke's uh, foot. Okay? From there, the rest of the is pretty much the same. Rotate, and turn the hips. Down. Uh, by using your front foot as a main and uh, you know, placing other hands in front of you, you basically maintain the weight on your back foot and then the impact on the uke's uh, body is much stronger this way. Okay? Okay. So, katate mochi sen, you know, you basically break uke's balance by moving sideways this way. Okay? Raise your hand and apply it. From there, move towards Uke's shoulder and raise up. Okay? The impact will be a little bit weaker, but still better than the you know, basic direction. Uh, From here, place your hands because hands and move forward. Katamochi. Up, down, and men. Move towards Uke's shoulder. Okay? So, um, uh, I uh, often uh, encourage my students to katata mochi, hiji mochi, kata mochi technique, or either yoko mochi, start from the gyaku hanmi, and then yoko mochi learn how to break with this balance. Yeah. So today's ikajo, I try to uh, explain the idea of ikajo. You basically break with this balance by shifting your body to uke's side, side position, and from there you're attacking. Uh, Uke's uh, center, you know, by moving towards the center. 
And the contact point usually uh, will be the point between your thumb and index finger. This is very important. That is precise why it's very important you move your hands to the side. Move to the side and apply this way. Okay? So, in a katata mochi, basically you move to as this uh, center and uh, hands uh, follow your finger uh, directions until Uke's body stops or until your forward motion stops. From there, place the atene hands to Uke's uh, top of hands and then bring your four fingers facing backwards. Wow. This way, your contact will be much stronger in the uh, point where I uh, referred to before, which is a point between thumb and index finger. Boom. And you have a space, you shift your uh, three little fingers inside this space from here. A uh, common mistake, people tend to go forward to push Uke's away. From here, this is very important. Same as Shomeuchi, you change the point of connection by rotating your wrist, turn your hips, and move yourself diagonally forward and sink down. And this. Okay. Explain the same idea with the uh, Ano Kishimochi. Okay. Oh, let me try with a big arm. Up. This this down and ten. Very important, always maintain your eye projection to other ten. If you focus this way, allows you to look at, you know, to give you attack. If you do that, right? It's always images, and you're always ready for the this attack. So you basically uh, keep controlling Uke's by through your eye projection and through your elbow. Okay, this way. Again, from this position, attacking point is point between thumb and index finger. For that, very important. Not this, but open. open. Okay? And from here, place your hands, the wrist, inside of the wrist, towards Uke's uh, uh, point between thumb and index finger. Move towards Uke's center, not this way. And circular, raise, raise the circular motion. Elbow in, extend your arms. Same thing, turn your hips. Turn your hips and down. So that your fingers. I mean, the baby is pointing towards behind the UKC. From, from there, without uh, grip, uh, uh, UKC, uh, grip, you just go uh, uh, diving to, towards the UKC. Armpit right away. And the grip will grow broken naturally. Okay, first. Okay. Up. I'll take it. Break with the box. Okay? Open. Okay? Again, this is more even more important to keep, uh, extend your eye projection towards Uke's face, so you know, you control his line. And also be ready, not too strong, very softly, so you can always ready to apply uh, a thing. From here, move to Azuke's center through your shoulder. And raise it. Elbow in, extend your arm, turn your hips. So basically, Uke is losing balance through the contact points. And cross it. Okay. Same as uh, every Ikajo uh, techniques, like even Shomeruchi, basically Uke is losing his balance through the contact points, not this one. Okay? This he allows him to recover his balance. Always the first contact point is the main point. You know? Through this point, you can lose the balance. Through this one. Meaning that you can keep controlling it through these hands. Okay? Uh, same, same goes with Katata Mochi. Through this point. Through this point. Okay? Elbows. One, two, extend your three. Not, not through this one, okay? Through elbow contact points. Shoulder and side. So these are the very important points uh, of uh, ano, katate mochi, hiji mochi, eh, kata mochi, eh, or even yokobe mochi, eh, ikajo says. Always through the contact points. When technique of ikajo doesn't work, it's usually that uh, uh, you lost the first contact points with uke. In other words, at the first contact or the first movement, you definitely have to create a situation he really relies on this, uh, his contact points. He's, without him realizing it, he's already relies on these hands. 
and you just basically make the most uh, most of this and uh, his uh, uh, attacks uh, for your for your for your uh, for your own purposes, which is uh, you know by changing point of connection, uh, uh, changing angles to break his spot. He still relies on this, but you know using this point to I'm um, breaking his spot. This is very important. Okay. Once you master Ichi, it goes uh, same as all the rest of the Aikido techniques. Once you master the Ichi, Ni will be not so difficult. Basically, you use the same principle using just, just pivot motion, okay? So, he's pushing, okay? Down and move to the side, okay? Very important, don't bring this back leg too much off to the side. He can come on top of you. Maintain the same lines of attending so that his body can come any further forward, okay? 45 degrees pivot, one. Touch it, four fingers face backwards, and then place your hands inside. Change the point of connection, uh, 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 the direction, uh, angle of point of connection, and pivot. Through this point, okay, through, uh, not try to move Uke's body through the hands, it's head to heavy. Through this point, you just turn. And here, important, you push your knees inside. Uh, uh, towards the uh, armpit pssst, to lock him upwards. Break it slightly more than 95 degrees. Place other wrists and uh, knees towards the wrist. And by opening your both knees, you stretch back straight and then sit, uh, breathe out and sit down. Come on, okay. come on, Okay, today I have like uh, ex explain about the uh, uh, how to break Uke's balance in proper Tai Sabaki, which is not a basic. Okay, once you master the uh, uh, nice feeling through this motion, one. Okay, I want you to uh, uh, modify this one to uh, modern Yoshika form. This helps. Okay, so grab rotate your both wrists towards Uke's face. Not pushing, huh? Your next one not pushing, but by turning. Or you may be able to slide your body slightly to the, uh, off to the side along with this hand motion. And next motion, uh, as I explained in the previous uh, video, is a thrust with a sphere, it's a shiona, uh, uh, Hosoma Indu style sphere techniques, along with the shikinos knee motion. Cross step four, big uh, cross step four as you see now. Keep it cross. And this hand always remains at uh, level of your uh, 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 belt, okay, from here. And as this goes down, your legs go down. Stretch both uh, 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 on by opening your both knees outside and back straight, sit down, and outside. And uh, of course, this uh, Taisabaki you know, breaking your balance. What I want to emphasize on that you really have to, it's just my opinion, but you really have to uh, lead to a position where Uke cannot do anything or Uke fully depends on, uh, on his grip, on his grab, okay? That way, you, uh, you know, I think you, know, you can uh, execute the next motion without uh, any problems, you know? If Uke is still not, you know, in control, then if you try to move a second motion, because he's, you know, free to move, it allows uh, him to give you a counter attack, from what I feel. So, I encourage my students, you know, at first contact, you have to do so that Uke cannot do anything against you. That's the uh, first rule um, I, I've always, uh, you know, uh, telling my students, okay? And uh, you probably see the same uh, ideas in many of my techniques which I teach at, at this school in, any uh, in, in, in most of the techniques, okay? So today I did the uh, uh, katase mochi, hiji mochi, kata mochi, and yokome strike and particularly emphasizing on the uh, first uh, taisabaki motion using uh, different uh, leg movements, okay? But once you master this feeling, you know, of course you can do the same thing with the basic Yoshida form, okay? And I think you know, if you can do it, um, you you know find the uh, train much more interesting, and you know uh, you can keep uh, uh, improve your techniques. Okay. 
Uh, these are very high level of uh, ideas, uh, I think. So um, you know, uh, please, uh, you know, uh, sense it. Uh, use these ideas, and uh, you know, again, I just wanted to emphasize this is not a basic. So I don't want you to get me a wrong idea that uh, this is Yoshida. Okay, this is just uh, uh, one of the variational training, which I think uh, helps you understand or be able to develop your techniques much better. So. All the techniques that I will show you in this video uh, uh, have the same um, uh, sort of approach. That these are not basics, but you know, it helps you to understand the movements much better. Okay, okay thanks for your observation and uh, looking forward to next week. Okay.